Hey y'all, welcome back. Just got done with today's workout. It is a fun one. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, I messed up my barbell weight. So you'll see me in the demo video looking a lot better than I actually am. I'll tell you kind of what I did there. Let's talk about the workout first. Got for intensity and technique, we're gonna have a 10 minute time cap on this one. So short time cap. Uh, I think I was in the five and a half, close to six minute range, something like that. Uh, and I definitely think people can go faster than me. So maybe sub five might be the fastest of the day, but that would be blazing hot. But I think it for sure can be done. Uh, I do think some people would be coming up against that time cap. So you're gonna have to be pushing it here. We've got a 400 meter run. I'll throw up run scaling and barbell scaling if you don't have a barbell at home uh, in the description and on the, the workout blog. But we've got a 400 meter run. Then when you come back in, you've got 40 thrusters full front squat, press it up overhead, 35% of a max. They were finishing it with a 400 meter run. Uh, so really, when you get to that last run, it's just sell out. You got nothing left coming off of those 40 thrusters. Takes you a little bit to get into your running stride because your legs and cardio are kind of zapped. So you just have to kind of start with shorter strides, try and get your legs back under you and then open up and just keep reminding yourself the run is the very last thing. We got nothing left. She just got to sell out when you get there. So the reason I'm going to look like I'm way better than I am over here uh, is in my workout bubble. Uh, it's depending on when you're watching this. It might be obvious if you're watching it right now in our cycle. If you're watching it in the future, uh, we're in the middle of a COVID pandemic. So uh, we've got workout bubbles. And so in my bubble, there's only a 35 pound bar. I could have easily gotten to get a 45 pound bar, but I was like, I'll just use a 35 pound bar. Uh, but then of course, as I was adding weight to the bar, uh, did the math wrong and uh, so I ended up with 65 pounds. I meant to put on 75 pounds uh, And so my plan on the thrusters is I thought I was gonna go four sets of ten uh, and I Knew because I hadn't done something like this before I, I didn't quite know if that was gonna be too much I didn't know if it was gonna be something like I don't know 13s I didn't quite know where it was gonna be so my plan was if I felt hard at all I was gonna put the bar down at five 10 felt good. I was going to keep going and kind of wing it from there. So uh, I was kind of going. Five felt really easy. 10 felt really good. So there's a brief moment in time where I thought I might just try and go all 40 in a row. Uh, but I don't think I had mentally prepared to try and do that. I think I could have done that. Uh, I probably should have tried. But again, I didn't know I was accidentally using 10 pounds lighter, which is like 15% less than what I was going to use. So it doesn't sound like that big of a difference, 75 to 65, but that 10 pounds on top of 60, that's a big percentage. Anyway, I ended up going 20 and 20, uh, and for sure on the second set of 20, 10 on was a real, real battle. But I'm not sure if that short little break I took uh, really made much of a difference. It probably, I probably made up the time in the last run, uh, but, uh, I don't know, I kind of would have liked to see if I could have gone 40 unbroken and then just see what happens. And these for intensity and technique when they're not for time, I like to get a little riskier with my rep scheme so I can learn a little bit more. So I thought I was learning something because I thought I was going 75% and I was really happy with 20s. Uh, but now knowing I was only 65%, kind of wish I would have tried to push it and tried to get that uh, 40 uh, sorry, 40 reps in a row. So anyway, what this feels like is the first run is kind of a trap. So you gotta be real careful on that first run. Uh, you don't wanna go slow, it's a real short workout, but you also don't wanna come out sprinting. If you go too hard, you're gonna come in and you have to stand there for a while before you can catch your breath on the thrusters. It's like 10 seconds slower on that first run is gonna set you up to go way faster on the thrusters, but also be able to start that run and go way faster on the run there. So. When you get to the thrusters again, kind of have a wing it strategy because you won't be sure. Kind of the check-in numbers are like 5, 7, 10, 12, 15, 20. Uh, and kind of depending on your how you feel. If you feel absolutely incredible at 20, go for it. But if reps are hard in any way at any of those numbers, that's where you put the bar down. And that's going to be kind of how you wing it. But you got to just keep telling yourself, once you get to 40, it's thrusters are over. Then it's just finishing the run. When you're on that last run, just kind of... Just get it started, get it started. Once you get a little bit into it, it's a little more manageable to think about just pushing the pace and then really push that pace to finish. 
enjoy this one. I had a lot of fun with it. I usually don't enjoy any workouts with thrusters. I usually don't enjoy running workouts either. Uh, so funny enough, put two things I don't enjoy very much together in this way. And I actually really liked this workout. So have fun with it. Let's see if anybody out there can get that sub five number. I think it's very possible. I think it would be an awesome, awesome time. And you're really going to have to earn it on that last run to get there. But enjoy this one. Talk to y'all soon.